So Thor Love and Thunder just released and here are my non-spoilery thoughts on it. So jumping into what I like about this and um, it follows up from Thor Ragnarok well in terms of the tone that it brings as Taika Ratiti still brings the same sort of humour and the same sort of colour vibes into this movie that he does in Thor Ragnarok. However there are some serious parts of the movie as well and I thought Chris Hemsworth did played both the funny parts well and also when it got more serious and darker in the tone. I thought that balance was quite good. Also another positive from this movie is that because it just has like a two hour runtime, it everything does move quickly and does move at a fast pace. So there's no points in time where it feels like it's dragging, where we feel like we're not doing anything important. There's always something happening. There's always something going on leading to what their crest is trying to lead to. The characters of Jane for and Valkyrie are our main leads and we follow them most of the time and I thought them together worked really well. As each of them have their own little personal problems that they deal with throughout the movie. However, when they're together as a group, they are quite funny together. The chemistry flows and it feels like the jokes are just running and that works really well. Also another positive is Christian Bell because when he is on the screen as Gore the God Butcher, he is the most interesting character and they do give us quite a nice background into how he became Gore the God Butcher and you can understand his motivations from what they gave us to why he is doing what he's doing now and the way he's turned out. However this also leads into a negative and start of the bad point as I said they did have just over a two hour runtime, and I felt like that could have been stretched out a bit more. They could have had some more development in the characters especially with Gore the God Butcher. As I said they did give us some explanation and some um, a backstory to why he became like that but he's not really in the movie that much he's only really in it at three main different points and I wish they gave us a little bit more of him because as I said he was the most interesting character when he was on the screen so seeing more of that would have been a bit better also I feel this way with Jane but on a lesser degree her backstory is explained a bit more than Gore the God Butcher's and lastly, the last negative I'm going to say of this is that I do think that the tone did change quite suddenly. As for most of the movie, it was as what you would expect from a Taika TT and 4 movie of having all the humour and all the jokes. Then all of a sudden, into the third act, it did get quite serious all of a sudden. And I didn't feel like it matched up. However, when it did get serious, I do also think it worked. But I don't think the transition from all the humour into the serious parts was as smooth as it could have been but once it does get serious it is still good. Another positive is the final third as I do think the movie does pick up a lot in the final third and gets a lot better as we get more of the action and as I said it has more of that serious tone and overall works really well together as we do get four verse score and we do get some really quite emotional scenes whilst still bringing in humour as well and I thought that worked really well. However, even though I said I did like the final act, I didn't like the conclusion they came up with with, final, with some of the characters at the end. I didn't like how they ended certain parts with certain characters. And I thought it's something Marvel has been doing a lot more recently and I'm not a big fan of it. However, I don't think it takes away from how good I thought the rest of the final third was. But it's just a bit annoying with how they ended it comparing how much I did like the final act in general. And there are two post credit scenes and I say they're both quite important for different reasons. Like the first one's more about what's going to happen next in the MCU and the second one's more about what happened in this movie. So I would say stick around for both of them, especially the first one as it's really important. So overall, I'll say it's quite a good movie. It's not as good as for Ragnarok, however it is quite close and it is one of the better Marvel movies in Phase 4 especially. So let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are of the movie are. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What's your main issues with it? What's the best bits about the movie? And thank you for watching.